this is a podcast all about bears. You either cheering for this team or just pulling your hair. Pulling your hair. I like to take a minute and just sit right back and tell you how I became the number one Bears fan. That boy is Benny Hunt. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Cake on the mic, cake on the mic. Uh. Oh, that's the intro. Sacramento, Sacramento, California, born and raised. And Antelope is where I spend most of my days. Of my Talk days. bad about my team, you must be a clown. This is Keek on the mic, so you know you better bear down. Bear down. Hey, what's going on, Bears fans? Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Keek on the Mic, the podcast all about the Chicago Bears. Like always, before I get this episode started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content right here on the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Keek on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. The Chicago Bears have dropped their fifth straight game against the Baltimore Ravens by losing a heartbreaker 16-13 to and are now 3-7. and And let me tell you, I think that is a wrap on this year's Chicago Bears season. I'm at a loss of words, guys. Um, <laughs> losing games like that at the end in back-to-back games is tough. I think us Bears fans have dealt with a lot of heartbreak over the years, but this season has been tough to watch. And you guys know me. I'm usually a very optimistic Bears fan. I'm always going to support the Chicago Bears, no matter what happens. But this is getting tough to watch, especially when you have a bum coach like Matt Nagy running the show. The organization sits here and says that the players are still playing for him. I think he's lost the team. I want to throw out a stat for you guys. I know you guys probably already seen this on social media. 0-4. 0-4 is the record after the bye week for the Chicago Bears under Matt Nagy. What makes that 0-4 record even worse is that three of those losses are to backup quarterbacks. Brock Osweiler, Teddy Bridgewater, and now Huntley for the Baltimore Ravens. This was Huntley's first career start. It's not like he looked amazing. It's just that The Chicago Bears are that bad. Matt Nagy is that bad. So many things I can say. First, let's talk about the performance of the defense. For most of the game, defense played well. Robert Quinn, three and a half sacks. Adding on to his resurgent year. Having a really, really good year. Shout out to Robert Quinn. Roquan Smith, 17 total tackles. Absolute monster. You got to pay that man. Robert uh, Roquan Smith should be a pro baller this year, so that's good. But then you have guys like Duke Shelley. Oh, Kendall Vildor. Kendall Vildor, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful, is an absolute bum. You are telling me right now, Chicago Bears, that you have no one that is better than Kendall Vildor. Multiple, on multiple occasions, Kendall Vildor killed the Chicago Bears in yesterday's game. And the Baltimore Ravens were not shy about targeting Vildor. Not at all. Creating mismatches with Mark Andrews, which is always going to be a mismatch. Mismatches with Sammy Watkins. Yeah, that's definitely a mismatch. But more than once yesterday, Kendall frickin' Vildor absolutely killed the Chicago Bears' defense. Just an absolute bum. At this point, bring up Thomas Graham Jr. See what he has. Oh, how about Artie Burns? You're telling me Artie Burns is not better than Kendall Vildor? It's an absolute shit show right now in Chicago, guys. And it all starts with Matt Nagy. Lack of preparation. Just bad decision making. In-game decision making. It all starts with Matt Nagy. The man needs to go. And I know the Bears are not going to fire a coach midseason. But they may need to do it this year. Because now we are traveling to 
a Lions team in Detroit that is 0-9-1. And even though they don't have Jared Goff, they're still playing competitive football, right? They looked terrible yesterday. But that probably won't stop them from beating the Chicago Bears on Thursday, right? Because of Matt Nagy. Just an absolute shit show in Chicago right now, guys. And like I said, I'm usually an optimistic fan, but this is bad. You have two weeks to prepare for a team, and we didn't know this, but without Lamar Jackson, I know it was a game-time decision, but they didn't have Lamar Jackson, and we still couldn't get it done. And don't get me started on the offensive play calling. Obviously, the big news of this game was Justin Fields went out early with a rib injury. And you want to know why? It's because they do not play to his strengths. He's running for his life. He's uncomfortable due to Matt Nagy and Bill Lazor and their inabilities to play to Justin Fields' strengths. And let me ask you guys this, Bears fans, and I'm curious. Why is it that when Justin Fields is in the game, no screen passes, right? No screens, no quick screens to the receivers. But the second that Justin Fields goes out, and the second that the red rifle Andy Dalton comes in, there's a quick screen to Mooney, and oh, look what happens. He breaks it for 60 yards for a touchdown. Why is that? I say sabotage. The same thing that he did to Mr. Bisky, he's doing to Justin Fields. Matt Nagy is the issue. Matt Nagy needs to go, and they're not going to fire him midseason. Even if they lose to Detroit on Thursday, they're not going to fire him midseason. I'd be very shocked if they did it. But as long as Matt Nagy is running the show, this is going to be a shit show for the Chicago Bears for the rest of the year. He's not a good coach. Maybe he's a good guy, but he's a terrible coach. Terrible play caller. Matt Nagy should never call an offense again, ever, in his life. It's that bad. I'm just at a loss of words. I, I really am. I... That's why I couldn't do a podcast episode yesterday because I had to hopefully kind of sit back and and hold my emotions. But but us as fans, we deserve more. We really do. They need to hit, they, they need to get Matt Nagy the hell out of Chicago because he's going to end up ruining Justin Fields just like he what he did to Mr. Bisky sabotage. Let's talk about Matt Nagy and some of the in game decisions that he made. Fourth and one, something going on with his headset. He calls a timeout. Off that timeout, fourth and one, he opts to go with a Wildcat. I don't know why they love Wildcat so much, but opts to go with the Wildcat. You know what's bad about that on fourth and one? The defense knows what you're doing. Baltimore knew what was coming because it was just Montgomery back there. Granted, when you look at the Look at the play. Montgomery had some blockers set up. He could have went to the left, maybe on Montgomery. Doesn't matter. It would have been a holding call anyways. In a game like that, when the other team has a quarterback that's starting his first career game, you punt the ball. Now, I know a lot of people say, well, Keek, the Bears have nothing to lose. Well, maybe you're right. But in that situation, when you know... The Ravens' offense hasn't really been doing anything the whole game. You pin them deep because our defense was playing well outside of Kendall Vildor. First drive of the game, right? We can go back to that. First drive of the game. Has some rhythm. Really good play calling. Get to the red zone. Third and five. They opt to do a sweep to Montgomery on the short side of the field. It gets blown up. Terrible play calling. It's Matt Nagy. It's Matt Nagy. I just don't understand why on the very first possession of the game, first drive of the game, the offense looks pretty good. And then they die out for the rest of the game. It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. It's like 
when they're preparing for games, they just sit there as coaches and laugh at each other and tell jokes. And I am actually making a game plan to help out the Chicago Bears. To help the Chicago Bears win games. This was another dud by the offense. Yes, Andy Dalton gave us a chance to win. Kendall Vildor screwed us at the end. But this was another dud by the offense. For example, Gibson got a big time turnover. What did the offense do? Three and out. It's been like that for the last four years. We shouldn't be surprised. Then you have the fans in Chicago. I would have been doing the same thing. Chanting, fire Matt Nagy. Matt Nagy sucks. Does that hold any weight over to McCaskey's head? Do they not hear that? You have to hear that. They're not going to fire midseason, guys. They're not going to fire midseason. But if he is not out as a Chicago Bears head coach at the end of the season, it's going to be really hard for me to watch Chicago Bears football. There is no way in absolute hell that Matt Nagy can be our coach after this season ends. It's just ridiculous. It really is. I'm tired of watching it. I wake up, everyone's so excited for Bears football every Sunday. And they put the same fucking crap on the field. Sorry for my language. But they put the same crap on the field every single year. Every single Sunday. They make everything look hard on the offensive side. They make everything look hard. Even on that 4th to 1 to Mooney that we converted. It looked so hard for us to get that one yard. It's a shit show in Chicago. Our season's over. It's tough to talk about playoffs now with the schedule that we have to face. Still have to play the Cardinals, the Packers. Minnesota looks good. We play them twice still. Thursday may be our last win, folks. And I'm not even confident about that. And we're playing the 0-9 Lions. They're 0-9. And I'm stressing about Thursday's game because of Matt Nagy. I guess it's just a venting session on the on Kick on the Mic today. And like always, I would love to hear from you guys. Let me know how you feel. And don't hold back. Rant in the comment section. Let me know how you feel about Matt Nagy. Let me know how you feel about Ryan Pace. And you know what? Forget it. Let me know how you feel about Kendall Vildor. Because the man is trash. Just, I don't know. What, it's, it's It just sucks. It just sucks. It's time It's it's time for a change. Matt Nagy needs to go. Whatever. Let him finish the season. But he should not be the Chicago Bears coach at the end of the season. Hopefully we can get a win on Thursday. But like I said, I'm not too confident at the moment as long as we have Matt Nagy as coach. Before I let you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification to catch all Bears content around the podcast. Make sure you follow me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you share this episode of Kick on the Mic with every single Bears fan that you know. But other than that, I'll be back for all new Bears podcasts right here on Kick on the Mic. Thanks, guys, and bear down. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic. You can go and subscribe, cause I be on it right. You ain't about it, you ain't about it, you ain't kick on the mic.